hi guys it's me um i'm just coming to do a review on a flat iron um it is the paul mitchell neuro smooth <sighs> i can honestly say that um well let's let's just go through the details first how about we do that Okay, so it says that um, it gets up to 450 degrees in 30 seconds. Um, it's an isotherm titanium. There's a two year warranty on it. Um, it says something about a smart sense chip. I don't know if that guys see that. Um, okay. It has auto shut, shut off. Um, that's kind of something that um is a it's a good thing that's a good thing um to me honestly I just think that it's a little overrated um I spent $130 on it at Ulta and that was with a coupon and um I don't really care for it too much um I felt like you could probably get the same results from a regular drugstore or Walmart flat iron and I wouldn't say I wouldn't say drugstore flat iron or Walmart as in like um just anything um I'll show you what I got it so I just got this one in replace of that and that seems pretty crazy because I spent $130 on a flat iron and I would expect for $130 flat iron to respond to being a $130 flat iron. I don't know if it's a bad flat iron or if I got a bad egg or something like that, but it won't even straighten my real hair and it will barely straighten my weave. So um, I actually uh, gave this flat iron a chance for a long time, I actually bought it in May. It is um, August now, and um, I've repeatedly tried to give it a chance, um, just regular, every day. Um, I even tried to uh, straighten, it, straighten it with this hair, um, and I thought it was the hair that was more of a problem um, as in straightening because I would straighten the hair with the flat iron and my hair will poof right back up, like immediately, like before I would even finish my head one side will be getting poofier back up again and I'm like really but I went through all this hair for no reason really so um <laughs> I thought it was the hair at first um so then um, I went and got the other flat iron and I went through with the other flat iron and it left it bone straight for um as long as I've been wearing the hair um it's been pretty straight well I won't say bone straight because it does have a, a real texture and I don't flat iron it pretty I don't flat iron it too hard and that's what I actually expected from the Paul Mitchell iron is um, just the results were kind of disappointing um, I, I looked at a lot of the reviews on YouTube and a lot of people were saying that it was really good and I bought it upon those reviews and I'm glad I bought it from Ulta and not a place online or Amazon or commerce or you know somewhere where I would have to go through the hassle of returning it um, so yeah um, would I buy the flat iron? Based on based on what I went through, um, I wouldn't really. Um, I would probably give it a a five out of ten. It's a flat iron. It straightens, um, but it just doesn't keep uh, the the effect. And I don't know if it just has something to do with the titanium. I don't know if it's something to do with my hair. You know, I, I, at first I thought it was something to do with my hair, but it didn't keep the weave straight either. So, um, I don't know if, if you have good luck with the flat iron. I, I hope, you know, it stays as good luck, but I didn't, I didn't have those results. Um, so if you have any other questions, just let me know below. And if you could, please subscribe. And I appreciate you watching my video. Thank you. Have a good one, guys.